but cut out by Ely. Good one, Ely. Good work by Ely, brought down at the finish and across. But chance for Hewitt, yes! Yes, the good goal by Hewitt. 21 minutes of this second half. Chesterfield go into the lead. Jamie Hewitt, such a stalwart over the seasons at Saltergate, is back on loan from Doncaster, and he gave them a cushion, and keeper Ashley Bays got into... Well, it was always going to be a long shot for John Duncan's men, and Jamie Hewitt came up with one of his own to put Chesterfield in front. Jamie Hewitt then equalised for Chesterfield, a smarter build-up and finish all round this time, and that was one apiece. And before half-time, Chesterfield were in the lead. Hewitt again... Good strike. Chesterfield, who were levelled ten minutes later, Jamie Hewitt on the end of this one. And got back level on the half hour, a mistake by the keeper, Fraser Digby, allowing Jamie Hewitt to equalise. But equalised just before the turn. Jamie Hewitt made it 2 2 after a neat bit of trickery that could have come straight from the boys from Brazil. Well, almost. And then a couple more goals in the Still time for one more before the interval. The visitors' defence seemed incapable of dealing with set pieces. Jamie Hewitt on hand to give John Duncan's side a healthy three-goal lead at the break. Beaumont. Good early cross. Very good early cross. Get! to go, Leicester equalise, seven days later, what can only be a minute to go, and yet again, they find a way through, and it's a hopeful ball up, they allow it to bounce, but look at that for a header, that's just unsavable, you don't save it, it's as simple as that, ball played in, they don't deal with it, but look at that for a header, Jamie Hewitt, well you could not in a million years have envisaged a match like this between sides as Sean Duncan even loses his glasses in the uh, jubilation nil nil at half time 2-2 two, two at regulation time 3-2 halfway through extra time and in the nick of time Jamie Hewitt keeps Chesterfield in the FA Cup it's a replay at Hillsborough on April the 22nd and no wonder there are mutual <laughs> congratulations all round God enjoy it lads enjoy. what a tale has unfolded here first of all Middlesbrough it seems shooting themselves in the foot Kinder getting himself sent off and if you like that it brought the odds closer together and after Andy Morris had given Chesterfield the lead Sean Dyche stepped up to slam in the penalty 2-0 but Middlesbrough found the resolve they had Ravanelli 2-1 they had a Hignett penalty 2-2 and then as we wondered which way it would turn Fester put them in front and Middlesbrough in extra time were pipped at the post at the or caught at the post should I say by Leicester last Sunday and they've been caught at the post by Jamie Hewitt of Chesterfield wow, that's Chris Beaumont's that. cross yeah. that's mine says Hewitt unforgettable <laughs>